Hi, I'm Chris Kinane with ARC Advisory Group. Joining me today is Harry Forbes, Research Director of Automation for ARC. Harry, thanks for joining me. Chris, nice to be here. So you've been on a bit of a rampage for some time about software containers and container orchestration. Why does this matter for industrial software? Well, before we look at industrial, let's look at what makes container software better. What is a container? A container is an application, the application code bundled in a package, if you will, in a container with all its dependencies. So, and this is a layered architecture, a layered structure. So at the bottom you have the, the lower level dependencies, say operating system version, database version, et cetera, et cetera. And at the top layer you have the application version. So that layered infrastructure comes with a, a bunch of other features like a, a repository, a runtime environment, and a deployment capability. So it lets you build and deploy distributed applications at scale in ways that people have never been able to do before. Okay, I see that for containers. What about orchestration? Well, <clears throat> that's kind of the next step because orchestration is required to manage large deployments of containers, and especially it comes from the cloud environment. So in the cloud environment, you need a, uh, a way to manage a, an application as, as it versions, changes versions, and as it changes loads and so forth. And in, in order to do that, the open source community, the cloud community has converged on a single open source project called Kubernetes to manage the orchestration of containers. Where in industry is the software architecture having an impact now? What we see is that the um, companies in the automation space are starting to use this more and more in their advanced applications for analytics, for IoT, and distributed applications. But it's really just beginning for them. I would say there's going to be a lot of work in this area because of other industries such as automotive and telecommunications where software is becoming much more of a component in products and the only way that people are going to be able to manage this kind of complex distributed system at scale, at a huge scale, over a long period of time is to use orchestrated containerized software at the edge. And that's a little bit of a problem because the resource requirements for Kubernetes fit the cloud very well, but they don't fit the edge very well. So there's a lot of research going on in, in that area to drive a, a edge cloud uh, kind of harmonization or, or, uh, so that we can orchestrate the edge the same way we can orchestrate the cloud, or at least with the same capabilities. What market research is ARC doing in this area? We're doing a lot of research into the edge, and especially the industrial edge, obviously, because that's where most of our uh, market research plays. Um, but I think we'll also be extending that into uh, other kinds of applications. But primarily right now, our IoT edge research is looking into this area and the technologies and markets that will be driving con orchestrated containers to the edge. And another point I would make here, Chris, is that over time, my personal opinion is that this containerized software is going to replace much of what is today embedded software. In other words, when you have an automation system, you have a little, you have a base operating system that is provided with a runtime by the vendor, and then the end user or adds a bunch of applications through the, through the tool sets that the automation supplier provides. In the long run, we think that, I think, the layers of um, embedded software is going to shrink down and much more of this application software is going to be containerized and we'll be using a common technology for management and deployment of those containers. So I think this is going to be a really big thing. It kind of standardizes, if you will, the ability of people to have distributed applications with compute power in a way kind of the way Windows operating system, Windows desktops did in the 1980s. You had a standardized environment. This is more like now a standardized cloud environment that is going across all the cloud providers, but I think is going to very strongly influence what we do in the edge and especially the industrial edge. Thank you very much for sharing your insights with us today. My pleasure, Chris. Thanks a lot.
My guest today was Harry Forbes, Research Director of Automation at ARC Advisory Group. Thank you for watching.